Dear listeners, this is Kai Smolesh from New York reporting on September 14, 2013. Uh, today, it's, uh, it's one year after the attack on the American and embassy, American school and the embassy in Tunisia. It's one year exactly that it happened on September 14, 2012. And uh, today I'm not going to add that much on what it has been, what it has been said uh, about the uh, attack on Benghazi, Libya on September 11, 2012, and uh, that caused the death of four U.S. Uh, US uh, individuals, including the ambas- ambassador Christopher, Christopher Stevens and three others, as you know. Today, I'm not going to add on what is being said about the first false flag that happened in the embassy in Benghazi and what has been said by the uh, Senator Ron Paul and Christopher Greens, Alec Jones, uh, David Knight, Anthony Gucciardi, and others. I'm not going to add much on that. All I'm going to do and add today is about what happened three days after that attack in Benghazi in Tunisia. What happened is the attack on the American school and the embassy, American embassy in Tunisia. So if that first one was was a false flag, I can guarantee you guys that the second one was also a cover up false flag to cover up the first one. And what happened is uh, I am uh, uh, I can guarantee you that the Tunisian government, including the president, Mansouf Marzouki, the, the, the minister of interior at that time, Ali Larayev, and right now is the first minister, is the prime minister. Also, at that time, Rafiq Abdeslam, which was the foreign minister, and uh, Rashid al the uh, the head of the, uh, the, the political party, al Nahda that uh, on the 80s and the 90s with the, uh, with the, with the war in Iraq has been, uh, has been asking uh, terrorists to attack the American, uh, the American embassies. Uh, and there are videos that still online, you can find them, and uh, he's, he's, he's been saying that. Also, the, there is the involvement of Hedi Ben Abbas, which is the advisor of the uh, president of Tunisia, those people, uh, they know about the false flag. Those people, they had asked the protesters to go into the embassy and to the American school. And uh, I have, like, I'm a Tunisian, but uh, I, I left Tunisia a long time ago. But I have a house, like, a mile away from the embassy and the American school. And I can guarantee you and assure you guys that nobody can reach the walls from the outside and the inside of the embassy. So allowing those protesters to reach those walls, there is a hand behind that, and there is somebody and some parties that they allow them to reach the walls. Um, uh, all I'm asking is, uh, is to investigate on that issue as well and to link both attacks on the Benghazi embassy and Tunisia embassy, embassy and the American school all together because both of them are false flags and I want you, Alex Jones and uh, the team and its team and your team to, to investigate on what happened exactly on September 14, 2012. It is uh, one year after the attack, and uh, it's the first time that I uncover all these issues, this true, this uh, this 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 story, and it needs uh, it needs your attention, guys. Um, we all know that uh, the film that was broadcast about the Muslims has nothing to do with this uh, with this attack with these attacks, and. Uh, It was a false flag for sure. Thank you and God bless America.